Hello and welcome to the new Power Query video and in this video I want to show you how you can add images using Power Query and also I will show you how you can generate the tags related to you know the images that you have. So for example you are having let's say the in images of animals or in images of an environment where multiple things are present you may want to you know figure it out like what are those things which are present and then do it uh, do the analysis okay so that is something which i wanted to show you how you can achieve it within power query uh, with the easy example now important part in this is because it is it will be coming as a table all the images will be part of the table that means you can do the data modeling on top of that and you know uh, make it as dynamic as possible using the inbuilt features of uh, Power BI. So very important topic, especially to add interactivity in your dashboards. Okay, so before I move ahead, just two quick information. One is you have this Google Sheet, which is in the description. That way you can you can basically search any of my previously published video and the link to that is present in column B. That way you can very easily search any of my videos and jump onto that. Now the data set which I will be using for this is, is the image URLs, right? Uh, so I have just added this. I forgot that I did not add this. That way, you know, I'm just keeping all of these data set in one single sheet. And this sheet is where you can find it in my data set folder. Earlier, I was keeping a little bit unorganized, but now I have it uh, in the data set folder where you have this data set sheet, okay, or the data set Google sheet. All right, so with that information, let me go to the Power Query. Okay, here I am in the Power Query, and if you don't know how to, gen how to come into that window, if you are like really big now, Yes, and uh, that way, let me go to, okay, here it is. I was doing that experiment, so I'll just remove that. Uh, you need to come over here in the transform data. In the transform data, you need to come to the new source, Excel workbook. And the data set I'm using is within my Power BI, and that is image URLs. And I will show you how I am, how I am getting the URLs so that you can easily get it because we need to get the base 64 encoded URLs, which Google automatically generates when you search the images. So that is an easy part. Otherwise, you will have to use the formulas. So this is the image URL, which is a column name, which I will say use first row as headers. And then I have this column. Now, if you see, the it starts with data image JPEG base 64. So this is basically a good part where all of this image is now encoded into this binary number, which if I go over here and I search, let's say cats, let's say you are a company who deals in, you know, lend, uh, selling the cats or, you know, managing the cats scenario like those, then you can generate, come over here and, you know, click on these images, right click, click image. And then you have this images URL like this, right, which is coming from here. There is also another type of URL. Uh, I will right click and open image in new tab. And if you see, this is an image which saying data image JPEG and this is a code, right? So this, what it has is after base 64, this is nothing but your binary code. That way this image will then become part of your application, right? Not the URL, but it will become a part of your application. So that is the best part. Just Whenever you are doing it, make sure, you know, this is the URL you are getting as part of this. This one image URL is something, a particular location, but it is not converting it to a binary. So if you see this, this is all basically URL images. So over here, if you see this, uh, if I just click over here, if I click this, right click, open in new tab. You know what it shows is wikicat right so whole idea what i'm just trying to show you is if you have this image then you have to convert it into a binary right or you use the url then you just need to make sure that url doesn't change okay otherwise it will create an issue okay so once we have this then once we have this url data image jpeg and the binary code you see that this is the binary code that is related to this and then what I can do is click on close and apply. 
once I click on close and apply, it will start getting this in the sheet, right? Image URL. If I just let's say bring it a slicer and add it as an image URL, what you get is the image, the text. Because right now, if I select this, it is categorized, it is data type as text, but data category is also very important because you have address, place, and all that. And then you can say this is an image URL. So then what it does is it basically converts this into a, a proper image, right? So right now what I'll do is I'll just delete that and let me bring the table this time. And uh, yeah, there you go, right? So you get all of these different images. What I brought in is basically a different types of images. And then you can go ahead and select that. Now there is a lot of things which is related to this is like, for example, the image size you know it is getting cut out or stuff like that for that we just need to make sure when you are basically bringing the image it is of the same size like for example icons and all right so just need to make sure that they are of same size for now this is an example so i'm just moving ahead uh, however in your real life scenario you will be collecting a high quality same size images and you just need to make sure when you are into the transform data you know, this URL is not getting cut out. For example, if I select this, you see that this is dot, dot, dot. Now, this is something which is getting probably cut out. And we can do that by creating a new column, by adding a new column. And uh, the column that we can add is, is a custom column. And uh, text length is something we can say len text dot length within the bracket this one insert enter click ok and what you get is the 4051 so this is fine now what it shows me is this is the text length usually the text length can be 32000 character long some 32667 or something like that so it is well below the 32000 so we are good so that means the the image itself is less. So just make sure that this is basically of same size image and you will face no issues. Now, along with this, even like I said, you can even get this URL. For example, this URL also. It's just that getting this URL is a problematic in the long run because if it changes, your application may not say, show the same result, right? So always make sure that you can get the, the binary code as much as possible, right? And then you can get the output. I don't know, in images uh, within the tools, does it show size, any size? You have the option over here, type in the type, you have the option uh, and the usage size is anyway usage, right? You can say cat binary images, so what it gives is the binary images. Okay, so with that, thank you so much for watching and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic. And before I move, just I realize one thing I can show you, for example, if you are creating an explainer topic like this, you can bring this type of an image. Just make sure that it is, uh, you know, coming within the 32,000 character limit and create the explainer videos or you know exp not the explainer videos but the explainer apps all right with that uh, leaving it up to you how much you want to experiment but that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic